hey, there's a big budget Hollywood film looking for <laughs> a guy that's your size, a guy who has blue eyes like you. And so, are you interested? And I said, yes. In order to say how we got here, oh, what are you doing here? We have to start here in State College, Pennsylvania, where Jonas Suatomo began his journey to movie stardom. Hey, what is up guys? This is June, and this is the story of how college basketball player Jonas Suatomo became Chewbacca. In Espoo, Finland, located 10 miles from the capital of Helsinki, Jonas Suatomo watched Star Wars for the first time as a little kid on VHS. Star Wars was probably one of the first films that I ever saw. It was it was just everywhere. It's difficult to imagine the world without Star Wars. In addition to filmmaking, the movie ignited an interest in acting too. But there was a small problem. People told Jonas he'd never become an actor because of his height, which made anyone who stood next to him have the stature of Yoda. But that height, it opened a door to another world, basketball. By high school, Jonas reached seven feet tall and played on the under 18 national team for Finland. He found some other heroes to look up to, this time in the NBA. Who were the basketball players that you you model your your game after i guess i guess it would be dirk Nowitzki, just the tall guys tim duncan his skill on the court quickly caught the attention of teams in america including schools like baylor ucla and penn state the coaches at penn state saw a european prospect with nba potential a 610 kid that he can shoot could pass the ball could drive the ball but as the rest of the world later found out Jonas also wanted to prioritize his film pursuits in college we were really worried about ucla because of you know, being near the film industry, they have a great film program. At that point, I started getting serious about the, the prospect of pursuing a professional basketball career. I wanted to play at the at, at the toughest level. Playing at the toughest level of basketball with the skill set that Suwatomo possessed, size, skill, and shooting touch led to really, really high expectations. But the transition to America led to some cultural growing pains. Daily life was a struggle, with Suwatomo adjusting to how people live their lives in the United States versus back home in Finland. I was definitely not expecting that sort of a cultural uh, adaptation process. It took took a lot of time to know that really, if I want something, I really need to go and fight for it. He also struggled on the court, suffering a foot injury his freshman year, which didn't make it any easier to adapt to the speed and the skill of Division One basketball. Suwatomo did not live up to expectations. In 34 games, he averaged less than a point and a rebound per game while shooting 26.1% from the field. By senior year, he reached a breaking point. There, there was that expectation that I should do better and well, I could not control people's expectations and I just needed to focus on my own and uh, if basketball wasn't going to work out I thought that I would at least uh, try to do well academically. First time I met him was in my intermediate documentary class. So he did a somewhat starring role in a scene from the play and film Harvey where he played the rabbit but they used the gorilla suit for, for various reasons. Getting to see that he, he might have something working in costume. I remember being in a dorm room my first, my uh, freshman year in college. One day I Googled who is inside the two box. <laughs> it's crazy. Suatomo soon realized that basketball no longer brought him the joy that film did. He had to make a decision. I knew that I had to um, finished my mandatory army service in Finland at some point. Also, I knew I, I had to, you know, start my, f start reaching for my film career uh, at, at some point. I don't know how much the coaches appreciated this decision. He said, I think I'm going to quit basketball. I'm going to go into acting. And I'm like, Jonas, come on, my man. Yeah, you're a basketball player. Come on, you're a six foot 11, blonde hair, blue eyed kid. I got all that. You know, you're no actor. What are you talking about? He graduated with a film degree and went back home to Finland. He began selling insurance and playing basketball in the Finnish league and then started his own company making corporate videos while also working as a substitute gym teacher. All of this before one day, he received a call from the Basketball Association of Finland. Hey, there's a big budget Hollywood film looking for a guy that's your size, a guy who has blue eyes like you. And so, are you interested? And I said, yes, yes, I'm interested. Is this a joke? How can I verify that this is not a joke? At his old high school, Jonas and his wife Mila set up a camera. In his audition video, he played a caveman who gets shot in the knee by an arrow. They wanted to see if I could play an arrow, like a sort of primitive, even though to call Chewy primitive was kind of offensive, uh, but uh, but definitely, definitely that that was that was in the ballpark. 
of what 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 it would take to play Chewie. And I, so I went in, <laughs> did my best caveman impression. So I went to Pinewood Studios and saw that, okay, they're making a Chewbacca suit. This is definitely Chewbacca. Uh, I have thought that maybe it's a, Maybe it's a shirtless caveman monster. Actually, I knew it was Star Wars because, yeah, I had Google, I did some research and five months of auditioning and in the end, uh, I got the part. When word spread back to the States, it was pretty hard to believe. I start reading these tweets and start getting these texts from the group text about, you know, and I, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not a Star Wars guy. When they start talking about Jonas and Star Wars, I got, what, what is this Star Wars? Like, what's Jonas doing? What the heck is Chewbacca? Like, what, what is this all about? So Watamo first started playing the role in Force Awakens before taking over full-time in The Last Jedi and Solo, A Star Wars Story. It took Suwatomo time to adjust to his newfound celebrity status. He initially felt a sense of imposter syndrome about the role of Chewbacca dropping into his lap. He questioned if he ever deserved the role in the first place. Yeah, that's just sort of some some random idea that comes to you. What, what I used to combat that thought is that Yes, I was, I did have blue eyes and I was seven feet tall and I would fit the requirements, but also I had always had a passion for movement. And seeing Swat of a success really made his former coaches at Penn State rethink how they handled that situation. I was upset at myself for not knowing that he was he was very passionate about his, his acting um, opportunities. I thought hopefully I'm a better listener as I got older. Chewbacca has become a fan favorite of moviegoers since Star Wars debuted all the way back in 1977. With Mayhew's death in 2019, Suwadamo took the reins of one of the most prominent roles in a galaxy far, far away. And while Suwadamo wishes his basketball career could have gone better, he knows that he wouldn't be where he is today without the challenges that forced him to find this path. My, my story, I guess, I guess it's, it's to do what you love. If you can find find the, uh, your your passion it's uh you, you you'll find the time to do it if even if i had to go back to working uh, my odd jobs that i used to do uh, i would still use my free time to uh pursue my dreams no matter where it ended up thanks for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus